What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we have this red Nismo that you previously saw in my other video where I polished the wheels. Um, this car has been tracked and it's extremely dirty because during the time he was tracking it we were getting crazy winds and uh, he was tracking this out pretty much in the desert in Palm Springs at Thermal. And so this car is actually really filthy. Um, I'll, I'll try to get you some better looks but even the interior is pretty, pretty bad too. Um, so there's always a lot of these clumps of dirt you see here everywhere throughout the whole car. The rear ends just massacred. These these were the exhaust tips that I polished and uh, they're all blacked, blacked out from the suit and everything. So anyways, uh, sorry about that, my battery died. I didn't realize it was low. Um, <clears throat> so these aren't the wheels that I polished. He bought some dedicated track wheels. He bought some Volks uh, T35s, which is the same as mine, but he, he got the Hyper Blues, mine are Hyper Green. Uh, whatever. Anyways, so I need to pull this out, let it cool down, because I just picked it up from his pad, and, um, get to washing. Alright guys, so let's get a little bit more of a close-up, so you can see, um, how dirty there's a bunch of, like, bugs and whatever, and tire marks from tracking the car. There we go. So, can you see a bunch of bug guts? stuff like that. I can't really get the angle I want to show you how dirty this is. Oh, maybe I can. As you can see, as you get lower, it's really, really dirty. So, well, not really dirty, but I mean, it's pretty filthy. It's, and just a reminder, if you haven't watched my video of when I polished the wheels, this car is fully wrapped in Expel you know, self-healing, um, clear bra. So, I'm not going to be so anal when I'm doing the two-bucket method on it. Look how dirty this engine is. It was dirt. Anyways. <clears throat> so, I'm just letting this thing cool off before I get started. Letting the brakes cool off, engine, and then I'm going to take a quick look in the interior. Where can I get it? And the interior. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold on. Let me look at the back. So, as you see, the back is really dirty from probably carrying a bunch of stuff to the track. So, I got all that to clean up. Even the mirror is dirty, but I don't think I'll be able to get it. But when I was driving, it's, it's it has a little layer of dirt on it as well. These seats. Oh, God. Look at this. So anyways, that's what I'm up to. A couple quick things I'm going to be using. Griot's Iron Fallout. And then a Gion Tar for all the tire marks that are on the hood and the rest of the car. Bug and Grime by Gion. Glossworks. And then Meguiar's Super Degreaser for the exhaust pipe and uh, tires. Greetings over Kansas that were very pleasant today. However, we are looking for a new front to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning, and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, a very, very pleasant reading. 73 up in the Goodland area, 72 at Garden City, 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal, 72 two, two over by the good folks of Guam. Half inch ahead for the year, and one and fifty-three hundredths behind for the for the year so far. We'll be looking for a little bit of a change tomorrow, and of course the possibility. 
engine to get a shower. Today, of course, there's nothing showing up on the radar. However, the satellite photo was pretty interesting for the western half of the U.S. Rain showers and thunder showers along that frontal system. And that wide band of fairly heavy snow is now what will happen. Each time that you see the frontal system on there, that begins at 6 o'clock in the morning. And then you'll see the cloud pattern move until 2 o'clock this afternoon. So as of that time, of course, the front was way off in the northwest. Now, however, it's moving into the central part of the nation with a couple of high-pressure such cells behind it. All right, guys, so this is done. <clears throat> Just a basic, you know, wash inside and out detail. Looking clean now. These look so good once they're clean. Well, I think so. I know some people don't like those colors. So vacuumed, cleaned all the dash with Meguiar's Express spray wax. And then I think they use that mostly. I use some APC in some other areas, but <clears throat> car is clean. So are these wheels? There's so much like little t like rubber tires, like little patches of them all over <laughs> where I wash the car. That's what happens when you track. Anyways, looks good to me. Time to, am I zoomed all the way out? Yeah. Time to uh, give this back to my buddy. Thanks for watching.